hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i have a collective haul for you guys i'm just gonna stick to foundations i have three of them first item is from lancome and it's the tint idol ultra 24 hours makeup it looks like this and i picked up the color 510 suede and it do come to the pump and i'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand so you guys can see the color this is the color here you know we smell everything on this channel so let me just smell it oh uh, you have a fragrance smell but nothing bad and it dries very fast the next foundation is from Marc Jacobs and it do comes with a pump I picked up the color 84 cocoa medium and this is it right here the next one is from Estee Lauder it's a double wear stay in place makeup and it looks like this it's the packaging and I picked up the shade 5C1 rich coconut as you can see it's, it's very lightweight on my skin and it's not heavy at all so when applying it you have to be very careful how much you're going to put on your skin so that's it for the foundation the next thing that I picked up is black opal deluxe finishing powder and I picked up the color dark I'm not gonna open it because it's very messy very very messy let me open it <laughs> I'll just be a little careful this is the inside of it when I'm using it I have to be very careful how much I'm gonna put on the cover and um, it spilled all over the place that's that's the con about it but it's black opal has some really good stuff the thing I'm gonna talk about is the Sasha buttercup setting powder it's the same thing as the black opal I really like this setting powder instead of the Ben Nye because this one is fine milled. The Ben Nye one, I don't like it too much because when you take pictures, it leaves that white cast on your face and I don't like that. If I'm not using this, I'll use the Ben Nye Sienna powder, which is a good one for dark skin women. I like this one as well. So this is like the two things, the two things that I will set under my eyes. The next thing I picked up is Botanics Facial Oil, 100% Organic. And I picked this up because I have very dry skin, especially when I'm wearing matte foundation. If I don't put no oil in my foundation, I tend to see a lot of cracks under my eyes and in my forehead. So I like to mix my foundation with oil and I've been using this since I got it and it's really good for anyone that has dry skin. I suggest you get an oil to mix with your foundation. It really helps your skin. I have four highlights to share with you guys and the first one is from Becca. This is it here. This looks like a spaceship to me. It's really cool. And the color that I picked up is Topaz yeah topaz and this is a color this is it right here this remind me of the black radiance highlight they came out with um this is it right here i'm just gonna swatch a little bit side by side to see if it's if it's close to it this is a black radiance here yeah this is a black radiance here and this one here is a topaz the black radiance has a little more gold to it if you can't afford to get the topaz the topaz I think is like $30 for this I'm, I'm, I'm not sure 20 or $30 if you can't afford this get the black radiance it's to me it's like a dupe for it I have two highlights from the bomb the first one is Mary Lou. This is a Mary Lou. I like the packaging. And it do comes with a mirror, but I'm not gonna blind you guys. This is a highlight. I'm just gonna put a good bit amount so you guys can see the color of it. And this is a hair. 
it has like a silver undertone to it it's really nice you don't have to use this by itself you can mix it with a darker color or something like that that's what i do the another one is betty lou this is the packaging and this is the inside This tool at Dwayne Reed, you just have to check to see if your local store sells the bomb products. I'm gonna swatch Betty Lou for you guys, and I like Betty Lou better than Mary Lou. Betty Lou is a little darker, it has a gold undertone to it, as you see here. The last highlight that I picked up is from Anastasia and it's that glow kit. This is the packaging and this is the bag. So I'm just going to open it up. I don't mind if you don't come in the mirror. It has a, I have a lot of highlights that has mirror so this doesn't bother me. So yeah, these are the colors and I used it, I used it before so this one is sunburst. This one is golden bronze. This one here is bubbly. And this one here is dripping in gold. Um, I picked up four mascaras from Target. I'm going to talk about the e.l.f. one first. This is a packaging right here. And I picked up this one for my under eyes because I do tear up a lot and this is only three bucks uh, yeah it's only three bucks and I really like it because it extends my lower lash so well and so long the other one from elf is a volume plumbing mascara and this is a packaging and this is the one I smell it it do have a smell just like any other mascara. No, I didn't purchase this at Target. I purchased it at the Elf store. Sorry. I purchased this one at the Elf store and I purchased this one at Target. Sorry. Um, I was looking for a cheap mascara from Elf and the girl at the store, she recommended this one and I really like this this mascara. The drugstore has a lot of mascaras that is very good. You know, don't be going and spend no $24 on a mascara and it does the same thing as a regular mascara. Don't do that. Just go to the drugstore and get you a mascara that is six, seven bucks. It does the same thing. The next one I picked up is from Maybelline. It's the Great Lash Blackest Black Mascara. And the packaging. I like the pa I like pink, so yeah. <laughs> and this one is a little smaller, but um, this mascara, I really like this mascara. Extend my lashes really good. The next one is from Wet n Wild. It's a max volume waterproof mascara. This is it. And Wet n Wild has some really good stuff. Well, not I don't like the lipsticks, but the mascaras, I love the mascaras. I think it's new. This is the one right here. Yeah, I have another one I want to share with you guys. It's a Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. Guys, this mascara... If you like fake lashes, you better go out and get this mascara. This mascara blends so well with your fake lashes. Okay? And this is what I use when I'm putting fake lashes. And I have it in right now. Girl, you better go out there and get that mascara. <laughs> you better go out there and get that mascara. This, this mascara is the shit. The last thing I want to talk about is from NYX. It's their Angelville Primer. And I love this primer. I use it for my eyebrows because I have curly eyebrows. And this sets really well with my eyebrows. Help my brows to stay in place. And this is just the texture. It's just white. And it's very creamy. The last product that I picked up is from Black Radiance. And this is the packaging. 
it's a pressed powder and it's oil free and it's a matte finish and I picked up the color ebony and it has a little mirror on the top <laughs> this is the this is the powder and I picked this up at Target and I really like this powder to set your contour if you want to put it all over your face you can do that but I use it to um, to set my contour this is it right here and it blend in so well and it's very creamy see how see how it blend in really nice I have another one on my desk here I want to share with you guys. It's the, and I promise, this, I promise, I promise this is the last one. This contour stick is from Black Opal and it's their suede mocha. The packaging looks like this. And this is what it looks like. I bought this a few months ago and I love this thing. Yeah, you could get this from Dwayne Reed or Walgreens. And <laughs> it has a fragrance smell to it. I'm sorry guys, I like, um I have a habit of smelling stuff. This is just just this is who I am. Like I'm not faking it. I just like to smell stuff. I'm sorry if some of you guys don't like that, but this is just me. I'm a goofball, so yeah. If you want to use this as a foundation, you can. If you want to use it as just to contour your face, you could do that as well. It's, it's your preference. However you want to use this, you can use it. And Black Opal has a variety of shades, but I picked up Suede Mocha because I like the color. I don't like my contour to be like too dark. Just a little color and that's it. Okay guys, this is the end of my haul. I hope you guys like what I put together for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.